Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Mail TV channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about very important, very important topic. How to secure Azure DevOps services. Right. So this is very, very important because you deal with a lot of projects, you deal with Azure boards, you deal with Azure repositories, you deal with Azure pipelines, test plans and artifacts. Okay. So you will have various components as we discussed. One is Azure boards, we have Azure repositories, we have Azure pipelines, we have Azure test plans, we have Azure artifacts, right, and we also have Azure org accounts. So imagine if you want to secure all these things, how are you going to do it? We want to make sure that we want to secure, we want to have a, a very secure Azure DevOps environment, right? So what you need to understand is there are three different components we will be focusing, okay? The first one is security. The second one is the authentication. The third one is the authorization. Okay, so these are the very three important things that gives us a very DevOps secured an environment. Okay. Now, now how exactly these three core secure, I mean, when will secure the environment? Okay. Okay. Now we'll talk. So if you look at the Azure DevOps, okay, we have so many components, like we have account types, account types in the sense we have users, right, we have org owners, we have service accounts, we have service principles, and we have job agents okay so these are the various account types we should understand in Azure DevOps and the second thing is authentication okay. so how exactly the authentication works now for each for each of these users org users service account service principal job agents so we say that for user that will be user credentials and for the and other thing is we will use windows authentication we have a two factor authentication that can be called as a 2FA and we have a SSH key also and we also use a add something called as a personal access tokens 
So this is the how the uh, various authentication works uh, in DevOps. And we also have other like for example I forgot to say like you know the uh, the AD authentication. Okay, which is very important, right? And um, one second, yeah. Now, how exactly the the authorization will come to the picture? If you look at the authorization part, okay, this can be a RBAC, which is a role based. Uh, Access control, right? And the other thing is, you can also have a access levels. You can also have a security namespaces and permissions defined. And you can also have a security group groups right normally we create a lot of user groups you can also security group, uh, group memberships so this is how the authorization works okay now i'll quickly go back here so we discussed about various three things one is security one is authentication one is authorization now under security we talked about if we're talking about various account types now we are talking about the various authentication types and we are also talking about how exactly they are getting authorized. Now the next thing is how exactly we are going to secure the project now. Right? So the first thing is how you will secure Azure project the first thing project level permissions you should understand the second thing is grant or Correct permissions. The next thing is dashboard permissions. Next thing is feedback. The reason why you should understand all these things because all users doesn't require uh, the everything under the project level permissions because there will be different teams working one is a dev team right one is a, a testing team one is an architect right so i don't think they should have access to each and every uh, project level right and even for the dashboard also uh, the dev team can have an access to their own dashboard and testing team they can their own dashboard architects for the review of the architecture and everything and for the feedback also you can also nominate very few users so that to keep the uh, it is not getting spammed or anything like that you can also uh, set the permissions level so that you know the project will be in total control controlled ecosystem that is the reason why you will set up the, the permissions now how you will secure the next thing is let's talk about the how to secure how to secure Azure repositories the first thing permissions on git repositories you 
branch level permissions tbfc permissions download repository permissions right so if you look at the uh, the permissions on the git especially right so everything is stored in the git when you talk about azure uh, uh, repositories right so the first thing is read create delete rename right so you have to make sure that not everyone have a, a permissions to delete create and rename only just read permissions right and also you can also have let us see the um, pull requests right and um, force push so all these permissions are very important so that you know the project uh, the, the code what uh, you are storing in the repository uh, is very secure and um, the download repository permission is very important because to make sure that you know you have uh, the um, this is very important you can assign on the user level or the group level okay so it should also generate a, a, a report uh, you know who is actually downloading downloading the code because that is very specific to the client project so you have to ensure that not all the users do have the download repository permissions okay now the next thing is how you will secure the securing the azure pipelines right. so the first thing is the same thing about the the pipeline security rules and uh, default role assignments so you have to make sure that you know who is having a, a permissions uh, on the pipeline for example contributor role to trigger to trigger the pipeline or to modify the pipeline content content in a sense like you know the yaml file and the you know uh, the uh, build pipeline delete pipelines and all those same thing who can build who can delete who can modify pipelines you can also change the re retention values of the pipeline right so let me quickly recap i just want to uh, go back here 
So where we started. So the we started with how to secure Azure DevOps services. We uh, so far we finished. Um, so far we finished Azure dashboards, Azure uh, repositories. We also finished just now Azure pipelines. Still we have Azure artifacts, Azure test plans, and Azure org accounts. So here we talked about what are the three different uh, components that influence the the Azure uh, security and what are the uh, the account types and the authentication how authentication works and how the authorization works and we also talked about now this how to uh, secure the project level dashboards and everything the other second thing is azure repositories this is third one is azure pipelines now the fourth one is for you um, artifacts Right. So, as we know, as we know, you know, the artifacts is nothing but where you can publish, consume, store different types of packages, right? So, for me, artifacts are nothing but your application packages. Right. So, you need to make sure that you have a proper permissions. Implemented to make sure that it is secured. So, what kind of permission we should make sure that you should enforce here, right? So, one thing is the feed settings. Who can do the feed? It's only admin or all users. We should decide. Okay, and you can also make sure that you can create a proper uh, user groups like only with the reader, collaborator, contributor, and owner. So like this, you will make sure that you know who can publish the packages, who can delete packages, save, promote. Unlist packages from the artifacts. Right. So these are the very important tasks that you can perform if you have a proper access. Because the reader cannot do all those things. Only a collaborator or a contributor or an owner can do all these things. But the reader cannot do all these things. Okay, so this is how you will secure the Azure artifacts part. Now the next, the last one is about the how to secure Azure test plans. So normally in order to run any test plan, the user should have an access of, uh, should be granted, I mean to say, granted a, a basic access to the test plans. 
otherwise you cannot uh, you cannot run uh, any test okay so the other thing is also um, permissions like manage test environment create test runs delete test runs manage test configurations right and and groups user groups similarly you have built-in admins you have contributors you have readers so make sure that you are creating users you are giving users properly who should be the admin who should be the contributor who should be the reader because there are a lot of actors you will perform like you know create test runs manage test configurations delete test runs manage test environment test plans so all those things so this is very important to make sure that this is very secure and right? because the, the all you do is this test planning is very important because that's where your code will be tested your builds will be text, uh, tested and you will report the all the bugs and failures right so this is very important crucial stage for you so this is about the uh, uh, whole concept guys so i'll quickly go back uh, a quick recap so i think so far we we covered uh, test plans also we covered artifacts and the accounts so this is about the the theory part guys so um, if you have any questions on this please use the comment section i will also give the description of the links where you can just go through it uh, a detail so i hope uh, you like this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel and um, have a nice day ahead bye for now